Hey guys, so today I'm going to actually show you a tool that I created. Um, it is a PC maintenance and troubleshooting tool. And I created this just recently. We're going to be at version 1.1. I already did a 1.0, but I've upgraded it since then and added some things here. Um, so link is down in the description below. And I've got this on my Mediafire account right now, like some other files that I've shown you guys in the past. Now, I know you guys are thinking, dude, seriously, why would we download something that you just tell us to download? I get that. I totally understand that. So I'm going to make a... Uh, I'm going to make a suggestion and I'm going to show you how to check this file before you run anything. So once you get it downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and just click download. I'm going to throw this on my desktop and I will close this window. Yep, close that goofy stuff that comes with it. Um, and then I'm going to extract it. And all this does is opens it up and pukes those files out onto your desktop. Let's do that. All right, let me drag this over here. Okay, and there's the two files. This one is the release notes. I will show you that. Drag it back over here. And this is just a PDF of the release notes. Um, it talks about the new functions and everything that I've updated and added. Um, gives you known issues, and that's just compatibility. Um, it's for uh, Windows and 10. It's optimized for. Um, I haven't tested on anything older than that, so... If you do, let me know and let me know how it works. So that's just the release notes. Now, this is the actual file. This is a CMD file, uh, which is essentially like a batch file, but the .cmd is ex executed by the cmd.exe command uh, interpreter, which, which is built into Windows. And so that actually adheres to modern command line behavior. So that's why I didn't go with batch. I went with CMD. Um, but anyway, before we run that, let me show you. Uh, one thing I'm going to suggest is if you are skeptical of this, yet you still want to give it a shot, run it through something like VirusTotal. VirusTotal.com will take a file and analyze it and tell you if it's malicious or not. I would suggest you do something like that. And you can actually just right click on this. Uh, let's edit it. I'm going to just edit with Notepad++. And you can actually just go through all the coding. And as you can see, all it does is has some titles of some stuff, uh, shows you the commands. It's not reaching out to the Internet for any any reason, not downloading anything malicious. But yeah, before you run it, if you feel skeptical about it, take a look through all the coding. Even show the coding to chat GPT and say, hey, is this malicious? And it should be able to tell you. All right. With that being said, I'm going to close this out and I'm going to go ahead and run this. So to run it. I suggest you right click on it and run as administrator. And the reason that I do that is because there might be some commands in here that uh, the system will need admin rights to run. So you should get this. Windows protected your PC. I'm going to tell it to just run it anyway because I know it. Okay, so here it is. Again, it is old school command line stuff. And it's pretty simple. Like I said, I'm going to be adding some more stuff as time goes on. If you guys have suggestions for what you'd like to see added, let me know down in the comments, and I will definitely consider that. So we're just going to start first here. I've got the first one as Drive Utilities. We're going to hit number one and enter. And we've got a few options here. We can run the SFC Scan Now, which is System File Checker. And if we go to do that, um, it will give you an explanation of what the SFC command does and, you know, how it works. And so if you want to proceed with that, just hit Y for yes. I'm not going to do that now because it takes a few minutes. I'm going to hit no and just go back. And check disk is kind of cool. You do number two for check disk. It will automatically detect the drives in your system. It will tell you what check disk does. It will list the drives available and ask you what drive that you want to check. Uh, for me right now, I'm not going to check a drive because, again, it takes a few minutes. So I'm just going to hit, hit enter and hit no. And then it will take me back. Now, this one, the run DISM, online cleanup image, restore health. Um, this is your typical Windows command, just like the system file checker command and check disk. Um, and it, again, will give you uh, 
an idea of what it does there. Fair warning, this one does take a few minutes, but if you're having hard drive issues or you believe you're having hard drive issues, these tools under Drive Utilities menu can definitely help with that and can de definitely tell you if you are having hard drive issues. So not gonna run it, gonna hit no. And that is all under Drive Utilities. So let's return to the main menu. And next we have cleanup. So let's do a number two and cleanup. Now this is just basic stuff, guys. You can clear your Windows temp files, clear browser cache, remove unnecessary system files. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, delete your event viewer logs because they can pile up. So let's start with number one. We wanna clear the Windows temp files. And again, gives you a explanation of what it was or what it is and does. This is basically the files at the Windows slash temp folder. It will delete those out for you. In fact, I can do that one real quick and see it uh, shows you what there. It did show you the temp files were cleared and it shows you exactly what it cleared. And so those are all gone and you've saved a little space. Now, there are some that cannot delete because it's probably in progress like this says stream deck i know my stream deck software is running so that's probably why it didn't delete that um so then you can just hit continue uh browser cache that will clear your browser cache now unnecessary system files let's go into that and this will tell you right here it does things like recycle bin previous windows installs and other system folders i believe it even climbs into the windows temp folder again uh, it's kind of a redundant thing, but that's what that does. Let's back out of that with a no. And then event viewer logs. And it will tell you, you know, that it's just going to clear out the unnecessary event viewer logs. Now, if you try to troubleshoot something, you know, you might not want to delete those until you get it uh, all resolved in what you're trying to do. So let's no and clear that. And let's return to main menu. Now, this one is kind of my favorite part here you're having network issues slow network things keep disconnecting having a hard time of reaching like a url or an ip something like that go into here and it has all your basic networking stuff you can ping a website or an ip uh, you can do an ip config to view your network configuration uh, trace route it traces the route to a remote server again ip or domain NS lookup, um, it does the DNS queries for a domain. Uh, DNS flush, flush comes in handy. We can, I can show you that. We do a five, tell you what it's gonna do. It's just gonna run that command, IP config slash flush DNS. So let's flush that out. Cool, that's done. Um, now IP release and IP renew. You gotta understand something about this one. When you release your IP, you will lose network connectivity until you run number seven, until you release, or I'm sorry, renew your IP address, which basically means if when you choose number six, it will release the current IP address that your system, that your internet service provider has issued and has assigned to your machine, it will release that. Then when you do an IP renew, it will grab and request another one from your ISP. Um, this comes in handy sometimes. Sometimes things get boggled up or whatever from your ISP, and it's handy just to grab a new IP address. Um, so once that's done, we can get out of here. And number four, system. Now, this one is um, pretty handy. Say you don't know what's in your system and you want all your system info, you just hit number one. It will analyze and it will give you a whole spit out of everything in your computer um, as far as like your Windows, what what uh, what version of Windows you're on, what OS config, when it was installed. It gives you all this kind of stuff and it's pretty cool what BIOS version you're on. And everything like that. So yeah, and it'll even give you network information down here, which can come in very, very handy. So give that a try too, once you're done with that. Um, the next one is find serial number. Say for instance, you need the serial number of your computer and you have no clue 
where to find it or the sticker underneath has rubbed off. Uh, you just come in here and hit number two and it will give you the serial number. Now mine is serial number uh, because mine's a custom built machine and I didn't attach a serial number to it. Uh, but if yours is a pre-built, an HP or whatever you got, it will give the system serial number. Um, then we can uh, just continue there. And that is all I have under system menu. Then we could just return back. So anyway, guys, that is it. Again, OptiFix version 1.0. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think about it. It's still a work in progress, but I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. And um, feel free to grab the code and add to it. It's completely open. I, I don't mind. I have uh, no type of uh, copyright attachment to it. I was just messing around and decided to see if I could do it. So anyway, guys, that is it. If you thought this was helpful or uh, entertaining in any way, give me a like and consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.